everything is possible in Christmas time. Todo es posible. So the man behind that campaign is Jose Miguel Sokolov. He's the chief creative officer for the global advertising agency, Low and Partners. He's here with me in studio, as I mentioned. Very welcome to the program, Jose Miguel. Thank you. So, okay, first listen to that, and I have, the, have them actually been playing them in front of me here as well. Uh, they're quite, shall we say, touchy-feely, emotional pictures of Christmas. Is that really going to get a rebel soldier to decide to put down his arms and go home? Well, it has. Um this this is a campaign that has been going on for for many many years uh, it started six or seven years ago and it started having very hard messages but we noticed that at christmas time there was always a peak in the number of of rebels demobilizing there are rebel rebels who are not sure they want to be there who miss their families who feel that they're a prisoner of their organization as much as a prisoner as they hold hostage so they want to get out they have uh, a lot of, of restrictions there, and they, and they certainly want to get out. So we started talking to the human being three or four years ago, and uh, we started trying to get them out of the jungle by, by making them remember what they're missing. And Do you use actual family members in the videos? This, this particular uh, campaign that we're launching this year, we're using actual mothers. Uh, mothers of the guerrilla who volunteered to give us uh, their, their, their pictures and their voice and their images. Yes. And they say, is my understanding, um, that the mother would say, I want you next to me, not just a photo next to me. Yeah, well, that's a song that's, that, that accompanies the commercial. But really what, what they're saying is, before you were a guerrilla, you were my son, which is what every mother would say. Uh, there is a there is a thing we we have found that uh, one of the things that guerrilla reject you know that Colombia is in the in the middle of of, a, of peace talks mm -hmm. and we are in a ceasefire right now the guerrilla declared a unilateral ceasefire one of the things that the guerrillas seem to fear is that they will get rejection not only from society but also from their family so it's really important to have their mother say what every mother would say. So is it also trying to educate the public about people coming home? I think it's a little bit, yes, because if the conflict is going to end, we need to understand that we have had a conflict with people that are exactly like us, human, and uh, have families and, and just think differently. I was reading in the Financial Times that you decided to accept this as to do something for your country. Yes. And that your teams had also been threatened by the FARC. Is that true? Well, not exact, not not necessarily threatened. Going out to the guerrilla and our teams who, and, and the creatives who work on this, when they go and install the Christmas trees and all of that, they are literally in a military mission. So there is a threat to their lives. So tell me more about that, because I, I haven't understand that part completely. They go, where do they go and what do they do? Well, see, the thing is, I'm mixing a lot of things here. That's For, okay. the first thing, The first thing we did in, in this campaign was... Uh, in, 19, in 2010, we installed 10 gigantic trees with Christmas lights in the middle of the jungle, in the, in the strategic walking paths that the area used. And when they passed by, the trees lit up and it said, if Christmas can, can come to the jungle, you can come home. In Christmas, everything is possible. So that was the first one. The actual going out to the jungle and, and, and putting up these trees was, was a dangerous thing. So the next year we did... Uh, uh, the guerrillas who came out that year told us that uh, we had missed the rivers, that they used the rivers as a, as a way of, of the whatever, transportation. Right? So we put some floating balls that were lit up with messages from their family, from the people of Colombia, and we floated them down the river, and they picked up those messages, and some of them left. Last year, uh, they, uh, they changed, this whole thing changed, Areas around to, to territories that were less familiar, so we in the center of town so that they would know where they needed to go because the night time is the best time for them to get out. And this time, we're using the mothers. So, so actually going there and doing that does imply a certain risk. How do you feel personally? I feel very proud if it does help. There is, there is, in Colombia, there is an average of about 2,500 deaths related to the, to the conflict a year. Uh, if we reduce, if, if I'm helping and the campaign that our agency is, is, is helping reduce them by 1%, we save 25 lives. I feel really good about that. Did you ever think this would be your role when you got into advertising? I think the role of advertising is about changing stuff, changing things. And 
what you think about it, uh, whatever. And if I can change behavior, that's what I do. That's what we do in our agency. And that's what the great team of creators and, and planners that I have working on this do. That, that's it. Well, I want to thank you for coming in, Chief Creative Officer of the agency uh, Low and Company, that, uh, Low and Partners, excuse me, that has this uh, definitely very creative campaign uh, in Colombia, and that is Jose Miguel Sokolov. Thank you very much. Thank you.